Hello, welcome to another Rascal Reviews. Today I'm looking at the Aegis Hero Pod from Geek Vape. So, this is the box. It's a 4mm pod capacity. It's a 12, 1200mAh battery. And this one is the gunmetal. So on the front you've got Aegis Hero. Top airflow, top performance. On this side, again, you've got Aegis Hero. On the back, you've got all of the um, features and safety precautions. Uh, you've got the contents here, so you get the pod. You get two Geek Vape um, B series coils. You get one point uh, four ohm and the one point and, and one point six ohm. You get a spare drip tip. You get the coil removal tool, USB cable. You've also got the contact details of the company and scratch and check authenticity and all of your warnings and signs down here so if we dive into the box take this out of sleeve off got the standard geek vape black box and inside we've got the pod itself i couldn't believe the size of this pod when i first got it out um, it's smaller than i expected it to be especially being four mil tank capacity uh, this is the gun metal you've got your aegis uh, leather on there and the rubberized sort of other side power button up down button and then you've got your uh, top airflow which is a nice little feature full stops at the full closed stops at the full open and it's mirrored on both sides you've got the director lung drip tip fitted which pops out it's a standard 510 on top you've got the fill port so just open this up it's actually got um, quite a large fill hole which is nice and the pod itself is just magnetic I've got the uh, 0.4 ohm boost pod fitted a uh, boost coil fitted so these are the same coils as the um, Aegis boost the boost plus and as you can see you've got two plastic lines on the side so the coil only goes in one way and a nice large magnet there nice and secure so on the front you've got two modes you've got power mode or bypass mode so effectively you've got um, the way it works is it is um, voltage in bypass mode and then you can change it using the up down key press the power button and it puts you in power mode which is wattage I've been vaping this one in bypass mode I just seem to get a better vape from it that way tiny little screen with um, everything you need on there can't quite see it on this camera but um, you've got your ohm reading your battery indicator your puff count and your voltage or um, power uh, setting which is adjusted on the up and down buttons okay so also in the box you get your warranty card which comes in a little envelope uh, battery safety and a little advertising flyer in the box underneath So get your power cable, your coil removal tool, a um, narrower mouth to lung drip tip, and you get your coils. Both coils come like this, but I've already been vaping one in there. So um, this is the 0.6 coil. And like I say, this will fit the Aegis Boost um, or Boost Plus system. So yeah, so all in all, it's a, it's a good vape. It's a direct um, restricted lung, so it's not airy at all. Even with the 0.4 ohm, there's um, a fair bit of restriction for me anyway. Um, but the flavours are really good. Um, the battery lasts, uh, well, it's lasted me a day, um, and I still had a bit left on it, but um, I, I do put it on charge every night. And all around, it feels good. It feels sturdy for a small little device, as you can see, fits easily in the hand um, it's an ideal sort of work vape or in the car a good 4mm capacity which is nice 
yeah, so all round, um, yeah, it's a good little device. So if you like what you see, head over to the Aegis um, Geekvate website, check out their uh, the Aegis range, and uh, thanks for watching.